Hey there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny and unique homes. Today we're taking a tour of a tiny house that is unlike any other that I've ever seen. And that says a lot because I have hundreds of tiny house tours on this channel. Not only is this house extremely comfortable and full of upgrades, including a jacuzzi tub, but there's something else that makes this tiny home really special. It's Disney themed. Mark and Mona are huge Disney fans, and because finding happiness is a major driving factor when it comes to downsizing, when they decided to go tiny, they of course wanted to model it after the happiest place on earth. When I walk in the door after work, I immediately feel happy. I can't help myself being enveloped in these things that I love so much, and they're just things, but they all represent memories and ideals and concepts, and that's Disney, and that's why we love it so much. Before we take a tour of this Disney-themed tiny house, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time we publish a new tour. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. To our tiny mouse house. We were living in a two-story, 1900 square foot house, and we had been in it for about 10 years. The kids had moved out. It was basically empty nest syndrome. So we started checking around tiny house builders. We could do something super unique. We're Disney super fans. We try to keep a lot of things in here that are Disney themed. We try not to buy stuff just to buy it. So we do have still a lot of our collections, but our mindset is a lot different now that we only collect what we feel we have room for and being that we're living tiny, we don't want to overload like we used to. Yeah. I found the website for Forever Homes. These guys have been the best as far as giving us different options, but for the most part, this entire house has been what we've designed with their help and they've been wonderful. We made it through in seven months and now we have our beautiful tiny home. The entire price for this tiny house was $125,000. It's now been a little over two, two years, years. Mm -hmm. and every single day is magical. When I walk in the door after work, I immediately feel happy. I can't help myself being enveloped in these things that I love so much, and they're just things, but they all represent memories and ideals and concepts, and that's Disney, and that's why we love it so much. So this is our tiny mouse house. It is a 36 foot long, eight and a half foot wide, tiny house on wheels. It is a triple axle. We have a total of right around 371 square foot of living space. It is a RVIA certified. If this was a park model or one that was just set in place, one, we wouldn't be able to be here in an RV park, but two, we wouldn't be able to get the insurance. We're paying right now $8.50 a month, and that's our space, that's sewer, water, trash pickup twice a day. That awning is actually a sunsetter awning. It comes out and it is a traditional sunsetter. We picked the color, we picked the design choice, and it looks pretty cool. And I had the idea, what about if we put the Mickey Mouse icons on the house itself? Forever Homes went to a local steel manufacturer and they built the solid steel, and they're heavy, solid steel Mickey icons. Now these are mounted on three posts that are actually embedded straight through the inside structure. They're in the frame itself. They put those posts in before they even put the siding on and they have pins on them so we can remove them to clean because there are LEDs, you can sort of see part of it right here, Those, that's actually the remote control unit, but behind their LEDs, at nighttime, they automatically come on and light up. They are really the first thing you see when you're coming up to the house. It sets the mood for the house that the people that live inside here are Disney fans. One of the cool things we did is we knew we wanted that red implement for the house, we wanted that red accent. So not only did they do our door in a special Mickey red that they actually had special mixed, but they actually, with a little bit darker and a little bit different mixture, they did the stairs as well. 
It was very important when I did the design work with Forever Homes to make sure that we had plenty of electrical outlets outside. We have one on this side, we have one on the other side if we ever should be in a place that you know, we had, need to have a plug on the back side. We also have plugs on either end up high. And we did that on purpose because of things like our awning, like our alarm system, anything that might need a high plug, that's where we put those. We also have on-demand hot water. So Forever Homes put in a precision temp, on-demand tankless hot water heater. It is one of the few things that runs off of propane. So, here on the front of the house, we have our propane tanks. There's two of them. And I fill those up probably about every three weeks or so. And I absolutely adore this generator. It is a Furman generator that we got from Costco. This thing will power our entire house with the air conditioner on, the refrigerator going, and we can turn the TVs on. It's amazing. It lends itself not only to the power of this generator, which is under $700, but it lends itself to how efficient the house is. In the back here, we have our black water and our gray. This is our hookup. So this is our back of the tiny house. This is our compressor unit for our air conditioner unit. One last thing we want to talk about here is our sign. It says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Disney fans should recognize this. When you go into Disneyland, this replica plaque is actually over both tunnels that you walk through to get to Main Street. I'll show you more inside. Come on in. So when you go to Disneyland, you walk down Main Street to the main hub, and then all the lands branch off off of that. Well, that's what we did here. So for us, this main area is actually Main Street, but it's a Mickey Mouse Main Street. And from there, we have four different lands. When you go into our bedroom, it's Dopey themed. It's actually called Dopey's Mine. When you go into the bathroom, don't chuckle, it's Pooh Corner after Winnie the Pooh. When you go upstairs into our guest loft, that's Minnie's Hideaway. It's entirely Minnie Mouse themed. And then my domain, my den, my office, whatever you want to call it, that's the Adventures Loft. That's taking you to a journey into Adventureland, Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones, the Tiki Room, but also Star Wars. Welcome to my kitchen. I wanted a lot of things that I had in my original house and my tiny house. First thing I wanted was my quartz countertops. I wanted a big sink, so that was very helpful. I don't really like to do dishes, so I needed to have a dishwasher. I fell in love when they were designing tiny homes. They had one of these ovens in their display. I decided that I had to have that, mainly because of the lighting. <laughs> That's just kind of what, you know, drew me to this. Everything is Disney themed in here, our flour and sugar containers. My mother-in-law, she handmade all of the curtains for us. Mickey Mouse toaster. It actually toasts the Mickey image on your bread. I got my coffee pot. You will be able to see different hidden Mickeys in our tile. We didn't really have a pantry um, area. We weren't sure how we were going to incorporate where we were gonna put our food. We had originally talked about putting doors on it, but when we were looking at it, it was a little difficult with the railing to put a door. So we thought we'll just leave it as an open concept and um, we really like it. It's given us a lot of space and also our refrigerator. Living full time, we needed something a little bit bigger. So this does hold everything that we need. Follow me back to the bedroom. Welcome to Dopey's Mine. This is my favorite space. Dopey is one of my favorite characters in Disneyland. So I had to incorporate Dopey with the bedding also with the green curtains. So there's a little bit of dopey everywhere in here. And we also have another air conditioning unit in here, which is very, very helpful. We do have the one in the living room, but being that we have this one in here, it's been keeping the room very, very cool. Forever Homes did a couple of very cool things. 
one, they were actually able to build us a closet deep enough to put clothes into. And they also put drawers in for us, one for her and one for me. And underneath the drawers, if the drawers actually come out, is our access interior to the hookups for our hot water heater. We have storage under the bed. You can lift it up and we have the entire area here for storage space. Here in the living room, we did a bunch of different things. We have my wife's cuckoo clock. We went over to Germany to visit some of her family. And so we were able to find one. These recliners we had a manufacturer make for us and we had these shipped directly to our builders. So they knew exactly where to put them. They do have these wonderful removable um, trays that we can pop on and off. It's wonderful because this is where we have dinner. We basically eat here on the trays, watch TV and enjoy ourselves. We have here our bookcases. Bookcases were important to us because we love to read. This is all of our Disney as well as some additional other titles that we like. You'll notice that there's these cords right here, which is just from the sound bar of the TV, but there are no other cords around this. And that's because when we had this built, we asked for a conduit system. The HDMI cables and the internet cables come from this TV. It goes through the wall into this bookcase. All of these cords come up through a brush plate and into here, so I don't have to worry about any unsightly cords where I don't need them. When we moved in, we knew we wanted something as a centerpiece above our wall here, which is the TV, the soundbar, the, the fireplace, and this empty space. So I found this canvas wrap of Walt with his character Mickey. And so that's really our centerpiece. That's our largest painting in the house. And it really talks about that magical connection between Walt and Mickey. Down here on the bottom, uh, we have our fireplace. This thing will fry you. It is very, very powerful. It can be on like we have it right now where it is simply nothing but just the visual. You can also turn it on so it blows like a fan, but you can also use it as a heater. Follow me. Up here in Minnie's hideaway is all decorated, of course, in Minnie Mouse. We have a futon mattress up here that we use as a bed because of the height difference. And so when our son or whoever comes up here, they sleep up here in this room. We also have the custom made curtains. We do also have a fan up here that we keep in the corner for circulation of air because it does get a bit warm up here. And then on the other side of this box here, there are two shelves. So if anybody wanted to come up here and stay for a few days, there is access to keep their clothes. So sometimes I might, you know, come up here and just relax and read or, you know, whatever, and just kind of get away from everything else down there. Note how she points to me. Yeah. <laughs> and now, one of the themed areas we have is the bathroom, and it is called Pooh Corner. Not for what you're thinking, but because it is entirely Winnie the Pooh themed. In here, we have all of our bathroom items. This is another one of those hidden shelves. There's actually screws built into it. This will actually come out and it gives us access to all of the plumbing that's in there for the tub and the shower. On this side, we have a stackable washer and dryer. These things are awesome. We were able to go all over the place and find these very cool Winnie the Pooh elements. We have Winnie the Pooh bath mats. We have these Thomas Kincaid canvas wraps of Winnie the Pooh. And we do have a traditional flush toilet. We have storage under the sink as well as above the sink. This is my wife's requirement. She wanted to make sure we had a jacuzzi tub. We have hidden Mickeys in here as well. There are 11 hidden Mickeys in the tile work. So one of my favorite places in the house is the area that I spend the most time in, and that's the Adventures Loft. Now you do have to crawl up in here, but once you're in here, Alexa game time, you actually get this wonderful effect. And there's enough room up here for me to have been able to actually put a sitting chair. So I can actually sit up here fairly comfortable. I have my Xbox Series X, I have my PlayStation 5. 
You have uh, different things like our Pirates of the Caribbean, a Mickey and Minnie. One last thing I do want to talk about is this carpet. This is a Persian rug. It is full of hidden Mickeys. By the way, when my wife is down there and I'm up here, yes, we do have uh, Nerf guns on both sides. And uh, we have Nerf fights all the time. This is our sanctuary. When we come home from a bad day at work or anything else, this is our sanctuary. It's just my happy place. You know, I love it, and it's just been the best decision we've made. Be prepared to give up stuff you didn't think you were going to give up. Know that your expenses are going to drop. You're in a tiny house. It's mm -hmm. cheaper to live. Unless you spend crazy on Disney stuff, and who does that? Who does that? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another tiny or unique home tour.